Good afternoon and welcome to another Crafternoon with the Lebanon Senior Center. Today we are very fortunate that we have some wonderful volunteers that work with us here at the Lebanon Senior Center. One of our newest volunteers uh, helped with this month's Crafternoon. Lenny and his family made us these lovely boards. Well, they maybe didn't make the boards. They sanded and cut the boards down and they nailed in a pattern for us haha, that I sent over to them. And this one involves uh, a setup for string art. So we have nails in the center in the form of a heart and then nails that go around the outside border. Some of my coworkers like it just like this, but uh, the idea is with our make and take kit, you will get a board and you will get a couple of skeins of embroidery floss, just like this. You can buy them in a packet or you can buy them as individuals in a craft store, at Walmart, by Mart. Um, it's around. You type a colorful yarn that's kind of thin. So uh, what the idea here is that you would use your embroidery floss to wrap around some of the pegs nail so to speak and create a very colorful design so i'm going to give you a couple of examples of ways of approaching this and of course you can make it your own as well so i have unpacked a skein of the yarn Whoop, already trying to get it cut so i'm just going to start by making a slip knot i do this by running it over my finger and running it down uh, years of quilt practice have created, allowed me to create a slip knot that way. A lot of people can do it a lot of different ways. So whatever your little trick is for getting a slip knot, that is kind of what you need to do to start with. Because then you're just going to lasso. Uh -huh. You're going to capture one of these nails with your slip knot. I can, I'm trying to do this upside down and backwards. Pardon me here. There we go. And then just tighten it. So I just have secured this piece of string to the nail. This is my tail. It's just kind of hanging out here. I will trim that at the end. Then what you can just do is you can just wrap your string around any old parts of the nail here. I'm just kind of doing this quick, no necessary rhyme or reason to it, no specific pattern. Just kind of filling it in. I need to use my other hand. <laughs> there we go. I have to wait to hold it up until the end. Ha ha. All right, just kind of wrapping and rolling and rolling and wrapping. Nope, oh, misfired. Got to come down here and get the end point. So as you can see, you're just working your way around it. And it starts to fill in the heart. Let me get my hand out of the way. See? And you can just zigzag, crisscross. You can test things out before you wind and decide how you want to fill in your heart. So that is one way to do it, is to work on filling in the heart, so to speak by wrapping just the heart itself. Now you can sit here and leave it at that or you could tie off your, your string and do one color for the heart and then you could come back, you could weave some embroidery floss around the outside edge and maybe another color. Or you could come back, um, do some of the heart in one color then you can tie it off and come back with another color. Maybe you want to represent one color for you, one color for your significant other. That would be kind of pretty. Or you can uh, tie off your heart and you can come back 
and do this outer portion where you're tying off on an outside peg and bringing it to the heart. I'm going to kind of undo what I did here real quick without tying it off just to kind of show you what that would look like. So instead of filling in the heart, you can leave the heart bare and you can whoop, try to do this with my right hand. Come back and work on filling the space on the outside. I should have wound this up before I started. I'm going backwards against the, the nails, which makes it exciting. You know, and you just kind of capture. Again, you can use more than one color. I know I'm just demonstrating with the red. There you go. So I can start to show you what that would look like as you just start going on the outside, leaving the heart bare. And I've got my loose thread in there that I would still come back and trim off. But you can certainly, again, do this in one color or you can come back and do it in a fun pattern or sequence, blending different colors together or doing um, interwoven colors all kinds of things. So you get to play with the string, weaving it back and forth from nail to nail, creating your own colorful design. You could do the heart like I did at first in one color, and you can come back and do the outside another color. Or again, you can leave one plain um, with no thread in it and the other filled, like the two examples I just showed you here. Either way, it's a lot of fun to play with the string and weave it around. Great exercise and hand coordination as well. Um, so I'm going to work on this. I'll post a picture of what I do at the end. And I hope that you guys have a great lot of fun with this. And of course, if you've got some scrap wood and nails, you could create your own design. We thought the hearts was just a little bit fun. Fun decoration for your home or a fun gift to give to someone else. Share a little love from your heart to theirs. Okay, everyone, and we have a dozen of these, I think, ready to go. So if you want a make and take kit uh, and you're a senior 50 years or older, get in touch with us at the Senior Center and we'll schedule for you to pick one up and then you can get started making your own beautiful string art. All right, and a big shout out to Lenny and his family. Thank you for all your work putting our boards together. Be well, everyone, and have an extra colorful day uh, with a little embroidery floss.